Well, staying with health, it's estimated there are more than 500 people currently waiting for life-saving transplants. Each year, the British Transport Games champion those who've undergone the surgery and celebrate the huge benefits of organ donation. This year, the event is taking place in North Lanarkshire. Our reporter Claire McNeil is there for us now. Claire, how's it going so far? Well, yes, as you can see, the British Transplant Games are well underway here at the Raven Craig Sports Centre in Motherwell. We've got athletics going on behind me here at the moment, but over the weekend there'll be a total of 23 events for people to come along and take part in. Organisers are expecting over 850 participants to come along, each one of whom have received an organ which has saved their lives, and I was speaking to two of them earlier. Prior to going on the transplant list, I had actually planned my own funeral. I knew that as the months were going by, certainly just before my transplant, I didn't have long left, I could feel that. Cystic fibrosis put a time limit on Lisa's life. She was in desperate need of a new set of lungs, which she waited three and a half years for. Before my transplant, I was down to around 12% lung function. So I was very unable to do anything. Um, I had to help um, make my dinner, go in the shower. Um, I was using either a manual wheelchair or a scooter. Um, I was on oxygen 24-7, as well as like a ventilator mask at night. Um, so yeah, and I was fed through a tube as well. After her transplant, Lisa wanted something positive to work towards and is one of over 850 athletes taking part in the 40th British Transplant Games in North Lanarkshire this weekend. So my consultant, he said, Lisa, you're not even a year in to, you've not even had your transplant a year and I was like I just want to try it I was like please and he went right okay then so I got permission and that's when I started focusing on like what would I actually like to to take part in and Craig is another one competing he lived for 10 years with kidney disease he was on dialysis three times a week and his kidney function went down to just seven percent dialysis is a, a torture it's just a dire strait you're on there constant three four times a week for numerous amount of hours, it really controls your life and a new donation, a new organ can really, really improve your life. Two days before he was due to get married, he'd received the phone call that they'd found a match and the day they'd spent months planning became life-changing for a different reason. My emotions were all over the place, it was like, did I take it, did I not take it, what's going to happen with the wedding, my emotions were everywhere, but once I got over the shock and it's thinking, there's only really one option you can take, you had to go for a kidney transplant, you can always get married in our time. Whereas there's not, no guarantee you're going to go for the kidney again anytime soon. And with his new kidney, Craig walked down the aisle last Friday. I was at two celebrations in one. I was much, I was feeling much better. All my family kept saying how better I was looking, how much colour I've got. It was really special. All my family and my friends and my son and my daughter and my, and my new wife. The annual games aim to raise awareness of the benefits of transplantation and encourage more people to join the donation register. Because of transplant um, operation and um, journey can be quite hard um, physically and mentally. I think it's good that you can meet other people who are on the same wavelength and who know exactly how you feel. You get to talk about your stories and your feelings about things and maybe kind of put your heads together and try and do something for it, like we're doing for Transplant Games. We're, we're getting the message out there and trying to get the cause out there and try and get everybody, as much people as we can, to sign up for it. How could you begin to to thank somebody for such a gift, for giving not only my life back, but my friends and family their life back. Um, I would just love to tell them all the things that I'm appreciative for now and what is, what is leading me to do. And I'm certainly not going to put them to waste, not for one day. Well, we've heard from a couple of those taking part and with me now to tell us just a bit more about what the Games are all about is Andy Eddy from Transplant Sports. So thank you for joining us, Andy. Um, we heard Lisa and Craig there saying that, you know, one of the best parts of the Games for them is just meeting people who have been on the same journey as them and who know what they're going through. Is that kind of what it's all about? It is, absolutely. It's an amazing event where we've got over 700 athletes, both children and adults, coming together. In, uh, the camaraderie is amazing. And we're all here really to celebrate the gift of life. Every single one of these athletes has had a life-saving transplant. And every single one of these athletes wouldn't be here but for that gift of life. And I suppose the message we're trying to get over today is that um, how important it is, is to talk about the, um, your wishes as towards uh, organ donation uh, if something were to happen. Um, that's really the message we're trying to get across. We're also um, really here to thank our donors and our donor families. And, I mean, this is its 40th year. You know, has it seen a change in those 40 years? Has it grown, perhaps? It has 
increased massively over the years and it, year on year it gets bigger and bigger. Um, thanks to the living donors that have come, uh, started to become more prevalent, um, our donor families, we've taken them to heart. The whole event gets bigger and better every single year. And thank you to North Lanarkshire and Scotland for really treating us so well and putting on such a, a fabulous Games this year for us. Well, it sounds like a fantastic atmosphere and, you know, best luck for, for the rest of the weekend, Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, as we heard there, Oregon recipients do go through a huge amount of emotional and physical distress, both before and after transplant. And these games are just a way of, you know, giving them something to work towards, letting them celebrate their new lease of life and most of all, thanking their donors and showing their organs haven't been donated in vain. Claire, live at the Transplant Games, many thanks.